हां गुड इवनिंग सर ओके हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव अटेंडेड हां ओके टेल मी के की बोलते बोल दो सर आई हैड अ क्वेश्चन जे माने वी हैड अ वर्कशॉप क्लास स्केड्यूल्ड यस्टरडे सो दैट वाज नॉट हेल्ड ड्यू टू इंटरनेट कनेक्शन प्रॉब्लम्स इंटरनेट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स so when when will that class be common held of that okay, workshop okay, that will be that will be today itself yes sir uh, means uh, the timing after 9 or 10 no uh, basically what i have i have uh, planned today that uh, today's class we cover uh, both your uh, subject and the workshop part so both i think it will be been okay it will be beneficial for uh, all the three group that is b1 b2 and b3 so yes, that sir, yes. uh, that's how i have uh, planned uh, uh, my today's class i think it, it will be helpful uh, for all of you yes sir yes sir absolutely sir okay okay uh, second thing is that uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, most probably or it has been almost decided that uh, mm, uh the oxof class uh, will be in another way that is the oxof class will be shown to you uh, by uh, videography so the plan has been decided to make the oxof class uh, on uh, 4th and 5th and 6th jan january okay that the the teacher and the technician they will uh, be uh, with the machine tool and they will uh, explain and demonstrate all the machining operation it has been decided okay that uh, yes. that will be uh, video videography will be made and that will be uh, provided to the students yes sir understood okay so but um, uh, before that uh, i uh, do not want to take any chance that if it didn't occur it didn't happen then uh, the student will be in a problem so that is why what i have planned that today my class will be uh, in uh, such a way so that it can cover both the syllabus of the machining technology as well as the uh, ox of what okay so i think uh, in the um, in the whatsapp group i have um, uh, shared some animation uh, uh, short short animation of few a few mess operation okay you may go through that uh, then you will get uh, some a little bit idea about the machining process different machining process okay okay how many uh, six how many students have attended till now 16 Yes, sir. Sixteen. Yes, sixteen. Okay. No issue. I am starting my class. Okay. Okay. Sir. Mm. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Hello, am I audible? Clearly audible, I am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, 
yes i am starting that uh, whatever we have uh, learned earlier that is uh, this subject is machining technology and metrology so the de definition you know that or the conception of machining i have told you earlier that machining is a process wherein one can obtain desired a product with desired shape size and accuracy by removing the excess materials in the form of chips okay so that is your machining process and there was machine and machine tool i have told that in machine tool there will be an external power source there will be a cutting tool and there will be material removal process this thing three thing will satisfy i the condition of a machine tool then i have told you that uh, few uh, important things that is cutting speed feed and depth of cut so the uh, definition of cutting feed and feed, uh, feed and depth of cut that has been uh, in the in the provided note but again i am reiterating it that cutting speed it is the linear it is the linear speed of any point on the work surface in relation to the tool in the direction of the primary cutting motion so i have told you there are two motion that is primary cutting motion and feed motion here v, the formula for v to uh, calculate the cutting speed is v is equal to pi dn by 100 meter per minute then that is feed it is the rate of traverse of the tool past the workpiece in the direction of the feed it is the unit of it is millimeter per revolution or for shaping millimeter per stroke okay then depth of cut it is the thickness of material cut in on pass measure in the perpendicular direction machine surface it has been told that a factors affecting the cutting speed the factors are tool life work and tool material combination rigidity of the machine tool feed and depth of cut okay this has been told to you okay uh, mm, then i have told you regarding the main parts the different important parts of lathe here in the screen you can see in the uh, this is a hand drawn figure of a lathe that is here you can see this is the lathe this is your speed gear box this is your head stock in this side this is tail stock okay this is your tool post this is driving plate this is this is your carriage okay here it is feed rod this is lead screw okay these are the main parts of the lathe it has been shown okay then i have told you the specification of lathe specification of lathe is the maximum distance between two centers swing uh, swing swing diameter over the bed swing diameter over the carriage center height number of speeds number of feeds overall size of the lathe and power of the machine these are the specification of the lathe it has also been told hello yes sir okay okay now uh, to uh, uh, make uh, to make the things more clear to you okay i am showing some videos okay this is this is a video the, this is has been shown the construction details and operation of different parts of a lathe okay 
so if you okay okay see this video Okay, uh, have you watched it? Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, yes, sir. The the audio the uh, audio of the uh, video is audible. No, no sir. Acha. Okay. What else? Sir, I mean, yeah. Say. Sir, I mean. Say. 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 गुगल मीट सर इखाने आपने अखुन स्टॉप शेयरिंग को कोडे हम्म स्टॉप शेयरिंग हाँ बोल रहा हूँ और आपने जो कुन अपार रोज शेयर योर स्क्रीन उखाने देख बन तीन टे ऑप्शन आ चुके शेयर योर इंटर स्क्रीन ए विंडो और एक टा टैब टैब हाँ टैब एक क्लिक करो कौन टा कोड बोलो टैब टाइप टैब अच्छा 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 ए Oops. This is also known as okay, now, uh, it yes, now the video and audio is audio and above yes, the okay. machine. Yes, sir. The main yes, function of chip span or tray is to collect or carry all hot chips. Machine and the operation of different parts that together construct and lay the machine. First of all, we have the stands or legs in a lathe machine. This is used in holding the lathe machine and in elevating the lathe bed to a working height. Legs are the most bottom portion and carrying the entire load of a lathe machine tool. The legs are firmly secured to the floor by the foundation bolt. The legs or stand of lathe machine is made of cast iron through the casting process. Since cast iron has a high shock absorbance and wear resistance capacity, so it helps the legs to absorb the vibration during work and transfer to the ground. Above the legs, there is a tray. Okay, whatever told here is uh, the, this is the lower part. This is uh, your leg. Okay, this is the leg of the leg. This part is made of cast iron. Uh, I think do you know that there are uh, um, uh, there is uh, two types of material. That is your uh, hello. Yes, sir. We yes, can sir. hear you. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. We can hear there, you. Okay. There are two types of material. You know that is uh, one type of material that can absorb your uh, compressive load, and another type of uh, material that is that can absorb your tensile load. Do you know that? Naja, janle na janle, bolvo se tadhar ko bolte hobe. Yes, sir. We know. Hello. Sir. Okay. So this leg part is made of cast iron because it can absorb your compressive load. Okay. And this is made by the casting process. This, this as the entire load leg will be on the legs. Okay. So that is your compressive. That is your compressive load. Okay. So that can be absorbed by these two legs. That is why these two legs 
आर मेड ऑफ कास्ट आयरन दिस इज ऑल्सो चिप्स पैन इट इज प्लेस्ड एट द लोअर साइड ऑफ बेड एंड अब द लेग ऑफ लेड मशीन The main function of chips pan or tray is to collect or carry all hot chips removed from the workpiece during machining operation. Above the tray there is the bed of the lathe machine. It is also called the lathe bed. The bed of a lathe machine is the base on which all other parts of lathe are mounted. It is massive and rigid single piece casting made to support other active parts of lathe machine. The bed is chosen according to lathe machine specification and requirement. It is usually made by single piece casting of semi steel or chilled cast iron due to its high compressive strength, shock absorbance and high lubrication quality. If we are making a larger lathe machine, then two or three pieces of bed casted and then bolted together, and for comparatively smaller general purpose lathes, the lathe bed is made through single piece casting at a time. There are guideways on the lathe bed. These guideways take care of movement of tail stock and carriage on bed. On the bed there is the feed box. This feed box is connected to the lead screw and the feed rod. The lead screw is a externally threaded shaft or rod. It converts rotational motion to linear motion. Lead screw is used for thread cutting operation in a lathe machine tool. The lead screw is used to move the carriage automatically during thread cutting. The feed rod is a cylindrical rod. It does not have any thread on its external surface. This feed rod is used to move the carriage from the left side to the right side and also from the right side to the left side. Now, on left end of the bed, head stock of lathe machine is located while on right side tail stock is located. Head stock is situated at the left side of the lathe bed and it is the house of the driving mechanism and electrical mechanism of a lathe machine tool. head stock transmit power from the spindle to the feed rod lead screw and thread cut there are speed selectors for controlling gear speed and here we have a lever called the driving clutch which is used to engage and disengage the spindle from the gear mechanism inside the head stock in other words it engages and disengages the motion at the starting of the lathe this driving clutch keeps the motion disengaged from the spindle and then when we need we can use this clutch to engage the spindle with gears for motion and the spindle starts rotating here this is the spindle connected to the head stock the spindle possesses lev center to which the workpiece can be attached there is a hole throughout spindle for handling long bar of workpiece the spindle is hollow inside and has threads cut on the external surface on the other hand the chuck has threads cut on the internal diameter so the external thread on the spindle surface and internal thread of the chuck results in coupling or fitting of the chuck with the spindle just like nut and bolt after mounting properly the chuck and the spindle becomes an assembly the chuck here is used to hold the job or workpiece firmly during the machining operation as we have just discussed it is mounted on the spindle which rotates the chuck and workpiece depending on requirements we usually use two types of chuck three jaw chuck and four jaw chuck the three jaw chuck is also called universal chuck because the three jaws move simultaneously when any one jaw is adjusted these three jaw chucks are generally used to hold cylindrical jobs the four jaw chuck is also called independent chuck because in four jaw chuck each stepped jaw is independently operated by a different screw so the four jaw chucks can also hold the square jobs rather than cylindrical the tail stock is situated on the right side above the lathe bed it is made out of cast iron the tail stock moves on the guideways on the bed surface and it can be moved forward and backward towards and away from the chuck according to requirement and job length the tail stock is used for supporting the long end of the job for holding and minimizes its vibration and sagging so that the long work piece or long job does not deflect or bend during the machining operation it holds the tool for performing different operations like drilling reaming tapping etc and it is also used for a small amount of taper for a long job by offsetting the tail stock this tip portion of the tail stock is also called the dead center because it just provides support and no motion is provided to this point similarly on this side we provide motion to the spindle which in turns rotates the chuck and workpiece so this is called live center
Both live and dead centers have 60 degrees conical points to fit center holes in the circular job, the other end tapering to allow for good fitting into the spindles. The dead center can be mounted in ball bearing so that it rotates with the job avoiding friction of the job with dead center as it is important to hold heavy jobs. In the tail stock assembly we also have the ram clamp and the hand wheel. When we rotate this hand traversing wheel, this dead center moves back and forth, that is, when this hand wheel is rotated, the dead center moves in and out. The ram clamp is used to apply lock on this movement of dead center. So this ram clamp locks the dead center in the tail stock, so it does not move. In addition to this, there is also a tail stock lock, which is used for locking the tail stock firmly in place according to our requirement during machining operation. Kisne kaha ye hoga aasan? Operation on the left of the head stock. There is the main driving pulley and gear system. This driving pulley system is connected to the gearbox inside the headstock. This driving pulley is connected to the motor through belt. Then comes the carriage. The carriage is used for support, guide and feed the tool against the job when the machining is done. The carriage holds moves and controls the cutting tool. It gives rigid supports to the tool during operations. It transfers power from feed rod to cutting tool through apron mechanism for longitudinal cross feeding. Carriage simplifies the thread cutting operation with the help of lead screw and half nut mechanism. The carriage is formed of five parts. Saddle, cross slide, compound rest, tool post and apron. On the carriage there is a hand traversing wheel. Using this wheel we can move the carriage left or right along the feed rod and lead screw. There is a half nut or screw cutting engage lever on the carriage. This half nut is used to connect motion to the carriage automatically. If the half nut lever is engaged, it engages the carriage with the lead screw, which results in automatic movement of carriage right and left by being guided by the threaded lead screw. Thus, the split half nut is used for automatic feed instead of providing manual feed, which helps us to cut thread with accuracy. Mounted on the carriage there is a saddle, Generally, the saddle is made up of H-shaped casting and it has a V-guide and a flat guide for mounting it on the lathe bed guideways. The cross slide hand wheel is assembled on the saddle. The cross slide generally travels at right angles to the spindle axis. That is, let's take for reference, if this hand traversing wheel moves the carriage left and right, then this cross slide wheel moves this saddle toward front back, that is perpendicular to the bed. So, since the cross slide hand wheel gives cross movement or perpendicular and so, this first slide. Above the cross slide and saddle, there are compound wrist mounted above them. The compound wrist supports the tool post and cutting tool in its various positions. It can be swivel at any desired position in the horizontal plane. Compound rest is necessary for turning angles and boring short tapers. It can rotate and fix to any desired angle. The compound rest slide is actuated by a screw, which rotates in a nut fixed to the saddle. Then, above the compound rest, the tool post is mounted. The tool post is an important part of carriage, which fits in a T-slot in the compound rest and holds the tool holder in place by the tool post screw. It is the topmost portion of the carriage and it is used to hold various cutting tools or tool holders. Generally, the single point cutting tool is mounted on this tool post. The last part of the carriage is the apron. This whole portion is called the apron. The apron is fitted to the saddle. It contains gears and clutches to transmit motion from the feed rod to the carriage and the half nut which engages with the lead screw during cutting threads. Apron acts as a cover or housing for all the mechanisms inside the carriage. Below the lathe bed, there is an oil sump. This oil sump is a place where the machine oil from different parts especially the machine oil from the shaft is deposited in the oil sump. In the bottom portion on the leg of the lathe machine, there is also space which can be used as storage for gears, chucks, tools, etc. and also this space is used as a housing for motor mechanism in some lathe machine. So, we have learnt the construction details of a lathe machine, along with the detailed operation of different parts.
If this video was helpful, subscribe to Academic Game Tutorials on YouTube for more updated videos. Thank you. Potion is called the ape. Organisms inside the apron. The apron is. Hello. Yes, sir. Have you understood? <laughs> yes, sir. But um means. Can I be না আমি ক্লাসে আছি আমি ক্লাসটা নিয়ে ফোন করছি হ্যাঁ আমি হয় করেছি আই ইয়েস টেল মি কি হ্যালো স্যার একটা ওভারভিউ মতো হ্যালো একটা ওভারভিউ মতো বুঝতে পেরেছি স্যার আচ্ছা ওকে সো should i again explain it uh, from this diagram can you see the can you see the uh, screen yes sir tune screen ta dekhte pachho ha sir okay so what has been told in this video is basically video is that in this total construction of the red okay there are different parts okay from bottom if we start from the bottom these two things are red on which the here this mount here this is tray this tray is for to hold because when there will be missing person there will be hot chips or chips okay so that so that will be that will be on the tray this is for your to hold the chips okay then this is your red bed one who is this your head stock assembly and tail stock assembly that will be there on the red bed there will be guide ways guide ways means this is like rail okay so that this tail stock can move left hand side and right hand side okay okay there are two rod is there this is your feed rod this is your lead screw okay this lead screw is basically used to put the automatic feed okay so when you this by this half nut this is your half nut when by this half nut this carriers will be connected with this red screw it this tool post that will automatically move towards the left hand left hand side okay this is your feed box this is the your gear pulley system okay this is your chuck it i have already told you there are two type of chuck that is three jaw chuck and four jaw chuck in case of three jaw chuck this is called self centered chuck because when one chuck will move other two chuck will also move simultaneously so in case of three jaw chuck in case of three jaw chuck the basically we hold the cylindrical job and the another another chuck another type of chuck that is your four jaw chuck okay in case of four jaw chuck we can hold square or uh, apart from your uh, cylindrical job other type of hexagonal or uh, square type of job that is hold basically in four jaw chuck four jaw chuck is independent chuck in that case we can move the chucks so i am showing you the figure of chuck Uh, here you can see in the right hand side this 1 2 3 there is your three jaw chuck by this three jaw chuck when on one jaw is moves toward the center sir, other two sir, your jaw screen uh, is not visible oh ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho okay 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 you so i'm showing uh, in little later okay, okay i'll have to change that uh, setting again okay so uh, i have already told you there is two uh, there are two types of chuck that is three jaw chuck and four jaw chuck in case of three jaw chuck you can hold cylindrical round job and in case of four jaw chuck you can hold square hexagonal types of uh, you know, that is any job with irregular size okay 
this is your tail stock this can move to the left hand side and right hand side here it has been shown you see this is carriage this is your your hand traveling wheel by which this carriage will move to the left hand side or right hand side okay this is saddle okay here you see there is another another wheel that is cross side hand cross side hand wheel by which you can move this in this side in this direction okay this is your tool post where the tool will be mounted okay basically this is your a brief construction details of lathe okay now as we are uh, okay now we will show again i am showing you again you that is the different type of operation that can be performed in your lathe machine tool okay here Hello. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. See, this is okay. Can you tell me which operation is running now? Facing. Which? Okay. So, in facing operation, this surface will be that is the top surface or bottom surface of a cylindrical job will be machine. So, this is your facing operation. In the center. Okay, what, can you tell me what will be the speed in the center of uh, in the center? Can you tell anyone that what will be the speed in the center? Zero. Cutting speed. Zero. Zero. Okay. Why? Why? D is equal to zero. So this the, now the facing operation is being performed. Which operation is performing? Planting operation. Okay.
Now which operation is performing? The grooming. Grooming. So here in this video, the group is being made on the job. Which operation is performing now? Narling. Narling. Basically, on the narling surface, basically narling is being done for the gripping purpose. Okay, so that that job can be gripped correctly. We perform this process. Similarly, here turning operation is being done. Turning operation is going on. Yes, we rotate. So here you can see the workpiece is clamp in the chuck and it is rotating and this is a tool and uh, this is a direction of feed.
so this arrow represents the direction of feed so basically facing is nothing but the first operation that we perform on the work piece and the facing operation is done to get a flat surface okay to produce the flat surface at the end of the work piece suppose the end of the work piece is regular in that case we perform the facing operation in order to produce a flat surface at the end okay and here uh, the tool is fed perpendicular to the axis of the lathe that is very important so this operation is performed by feeding the tool perpendicular to the axis of rotation of the chuck okay so this is the first operation that is facing next operation that is known as turning so in turning operation the excess material is removed from the surface of the workpiece to produce a cylindrical surface of desired shape and size during the turning operation the feed is moved along the axis of rotation of the chuck it reduces the diameter of cylindrical workpiece okay so turning is a second operation that we can perform over the lathe machine so basically in turning operation we can remove the material over the surface and by removing the material we are basically reducing the workpiece so here also you can see the workpiece has two different diameter this operation on the axis of the spindle is called as boring whole okay here you can um, first um, in this video you can so you, you have uh, you have seen that there the, that is the first operation that was uh, that was the facing so you have already know, know that what is facing operation second second operation that is your turning in case of turning you have seen that that that, that the excess material will be removed in the form of chips from the circumferential area of the cylindrical job now it is boring this being boring operation is being performed in all in the in a hole okay basically holes are bored with the help of a single point cutting tool okay that in boring operation that is the hole can be enlarged holes are bored with the help of single point cutting tool now here you can see the boring operation so boring operation is nothing but enlarging the previously drilled hole matlab boring mein sabse important condition ye hai ki aapke paas pehle se hole drill hua chahiye uske baad aap uska diameter increase karoge that is nothing but boring operation and this op okay so in case of boring you can enlarge the already a hole that is boring operation is perform in in already already previously made hole okay then your drilling, drilling. operation okay this is, is the process, process to make hole in the work piece a hole okay. by the use of drill the drill is held in the tail stock and the drilling operation is done by advancing the drill in the work piece by rotating the handle of the tail stock okay so you can perform drilling operation over lathe machine also so for that you have to clamp or you have to fix the drill bit or fir tail stock stock by rotating it against the job to perform the now next operation that is a fix karna hai drilling operation you know is that is narrowing operation you already know it proper next operation that is chamfering yes. so chamfering is the process of beveling the extreme end of the workpiece it so this end in order to remove the chamfering is to being done to protect done. the end of the workpiece from being damaged and to have a better look so basically in chamfering process while handling also machine to the required shape this is parting off okay so parting off is nothing but a process of cutting the work piece into pieces so is the ye diagram that is a parting tool is required parting tool so ye jo hai ye mera desired parting work, off the process of creating a narrow this is grooving on the work we are you have already seen the seen example of forming this is tool. forming वही शेप का उठ ओके सो दिस इज फॉर सो यहाँ पे टर्निंग जो है ये टूल को एक पर्टिकुलर एंगल दिया है वो दिस इज यू कैन थ्रेडिंग प्रोसेस ऑफ थ्रेडिंग सो थ्रेडिंग टूल और ए सिंगल पॉइंट इन सो लेट्स लेट्स समराइज इट सो द वेरी फर्स्ट ऑपरेशन दैट इज हेलो हेलो 
हेलो यस सर यस सर ओके सो हैव यू हैव यू गॉट सम आईडिया और हैव यू अंडरस्टूड समथिंग अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मशीनिंग हैव यू गॉट सम आईडिया और कॉन्सेप्शन बुझते पेरेछो किछु माने मशीनिंग ऑपरेशन गो व्हाट इज बीइंग डन इन डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ मशीनिंग ऑपरेशन यस सर ओके okay so basically this is this is your first job sheet okay are you able to view it yes yes sir okay okay so here you can, here you can see that this is a this is your first job that is making a pin so first thing a cylindrical job will be supplied whose is on 50 mm length and diameter 25 mm okay then what you have to do you have to make your you have to परफॉर्म फेसिंग ऑपरेशन ओके एंड यू हैव टू परफॉर्म टर्निंग ऑपरेशन थ्रू ओवर द पिन ओके इन सेकंड केस योर सेंटर ड्रिलिंग ऑन द बोथ साइड ओके दैट इज योर ड्रिलिंग विल बी डन इन केस ऑफ फोर्थ ऑपरेशन दैट इज टर्निंग द स्टेप्स दैट इज हियर स्टेप टर्निंग विल बी डन ओके देन हियर your undercutting narrowing so these are the operation you have to perform in your workshop basically in usual in uh, normal courses so in this case that is your first job that is making a pin in that case you have to perform different type of machining operation on a cylindrical job this is your final shape here you can see you have perform turning grooving this is this portion is narrowing okay this is your step turning okay so basically in oxof class this machining operation is being performed on the supplied job okay and when you have to prepare the report these are the these are the question who have which you have to make in the report okay these are the question that you have to write in your report okay so the students that is uh, in today's class what i have i have shown you or what in the screen that is the different important parts and its the construction of lead then i have shown you different types of machining operation which can be performed in the lead okay and the third in the, i have shown you a job sheet that is basically in normal situation this job sheet is supplied to the students and the job is supplied and different kind of machining operation that is being performed on the job okay yes sir okay so and you have to make the report on the basis of the uh, on the question which are in the below of that job sheet okay this is this is basically being done in the oxof classes so uh, 
I have already told you that in uh, in case in case of this subject that is machining technology, what uh, what you have to know that in case of different machine that uh, in in case of different machine you have to know that is the specification of the machine, the different type of operation that can be performed on that machine. Okay, that uh, and the different uh, important part of that machine. So these are the thing you have to know. mandatorily to understand the different types of machine tool and it works okay so if you if you go through if you go through the uh, supplied note the handwritten supplied note you you, you observe or you see that there are different type of machine that is your red uh, red is there um, then separ drilling milling okay so here there you can at least you have to know that what are the operation that can be performed on that particular machine tool and the specification and the important parts okay yes tell me <laughs> hello Anyone? Anyone is telling something? Sir, हाँ बोलो कि sir आगे तीन एक अच्छे लगे sir आगे तीन बोलो बोले चलो ना ये कि degree of low tech है कोई low tech sir हम्म हाँ नोटर Uh, okay it 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 was told that amount of lobeness is the difference between the diameter of the circle into which the lobed cross section may be inscribed and the distance between parallel planes tangent to the surface of the part okay this is your lobeness that is this is the diameter of the job in which this you know triangle this has been inscribed okay and this is the tangent to its surface so the difference between capital d and small d this is your lobedness okay this is, i understood this was your this was your overality okay so i have told you that this along with this note along with this note you have to go side by side with this note here it has been mentioned Here it has been mentioned the types of error, error in cylindrical surface. Which kind of uh, errors will be uh, will, can be seen in case of a cylindrical surface? This is your obliquity, then your lobeness, then your barrel shape, then this was your lack of straightness of generating lines, barrel shape, bow shape, curvature axis due to lack of parallelism. 
Okay. Here it has been given. Okay. Very short. Very very. Yes, yes. Okay. This is maximum available uh, available accuracy. This is your economical feasible accuracy. And above that, above that. Here it has been given. That is in the that is the sources of error on which the machining. What are the factors that affects your machining accuracy? In 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 this note, I have already told that your factors affecting machining accuracy. what are the factors that is affecting your machining accuracy due to the due to inaccuracy in assembled machine components okay here it has been given that is in due to the assembly in different machine components that error can be happened there after the acceptance tense the performance tense is there due to strain in the workpiece okay due to strain in the workpiece then due to strain in the machine tool error due to the strain in the fixer and cutting tool incorrect setting of tool and workpiece inaccuracy in size cutting tool so here what here whatever has been written here okay under this under this headline that is factors affecting machining accuracy there are many things that has been that main key points has been written in this few points with the diagram so if you go through if you read it on this pdf and if you have to just this has been summarized here bujhte parcho ebar ki bollam okay ha sir ha sir ha sir ekdom bujhte parchi kono oshubidha nei sir Okay, 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 okay. So this part you have to read. 